What is up, Flame Gang? Baby Boy Flame here. Thank you for joining me. Today we will be talking about Gork Core, or otherwise known as hiking fashion. And I just want to break it down a little bit for you guys and talk about what's going on with this trend. What's up, man? What's up, man? What are you wearing? Oh, this? This is early 2010s Patagonia. It's actually made of this no. H2 No material. No. And then I got on some early 2000s Arcteryx hiking Dude, no, pants. no, that's not what I'm asking you. Like, why are you wearing that? Are you like going for a hike or is it like pouring rain outside? No, nah, no, nah, dude. I, I was just going to take some Fit Picks. A Fit Pick? Yeah, Fit Picks. I'm super excited for this video today, guys, because we do have a special guest. And we'll introduce him in a little bit here to talk more about Corp Core and his take on it. But before I do that, let's kind of get an understanding of what exactly is Gorp Core. That word Gorp, I don't know if that's a real word, but G-O-R-P stands for good old raisins and peanuts. I know, that probably doesn't help at all. Apparently good old raisins and peanuts is a way hikers just describe trail mix. That being that Gorp Core is directly influenced by hiker fashion. So now that we know what Gorp Core stands for, let's dive into what it actually looks like. So as I mentioned, it's just a lot of hiking gear. It's, it's hiking inspired fashion. It's almost like mixing extreme hiking utility with everyday fashion and combining them together. People who wear Gorp Core don't necessarily hike at all, but they might have the highest tech hiking gear on. The aesthetic of Gorp Core is functionality. Honestly, the higher the function, the better, especially if you're not using it for its intended function. That being said, some of the common functions you'll see in Gorp Core are waterproof, fire resistant, drawstring lacing, seamless pockets, just really high tech clothing. Two of Gorp Core's biggest hits are the Arcteryx jackets and the Solomon shoes. For what it's worth, Arcteryx jackets are everything but bulletproof. They really are about as high tech as jackets can go. That same fossilized logo can be seen on your favorite influencer. This really has gone mainstream when this hiking aesthetic and this hiking look was not something that we saw in fashion. And honestly, I doubt that Arcteryx was trying to make a fashionable jacket. With how high quality and high functionality these jackets are, I have a feeling that was the last thing they were keeping in mind. But Arcteryx isn't the only brand that's notable here. There are a lot of other brands that have been making hiking gear for over 20 years, like Patagonia, L.L. Bean, Eddie Bauer, and Columbia. All of these brands make a full hiking outfit from head to toe. If you're interested in getting into that hiking aesthetic, you could definitely look to any of these brands to be a good entry point. I also mentioned Solomon Shoes, and I am a huge fan of Solomon Shoes. I actually own a pair. Let me show you real quick. This is the Solomon Wings Pro 2. This is a pretty old model, but I just wanted to show you because it actually has some of the functions as the new Solomons that are being put out. As you can see here, this is made of almost fully synthetic materials, okay? There is no animal hide on here or anything like that. There's also this really cool feature, which is a drawstring closure. There's no shoelaces. I'm pretty sure hikers have zero time to tie their shoes out there. So you can actually just pull this and that will tighten up the shoe for you. One other feature that I thought was dope was this mesh pocket at the top of the shoe. This allows for you to actually put away this drawstring lacing system. On top of being super functional, I think that Solomon's are a really good look. They are an aesthetically pleasing shoe to the eye. It's just really nice to have a shoe that is very durable and rugged, but also looks good. I, I, I think it's really cool. The Solomon Group has been doing this for a very long time. They were actually founded in 1947. And like most of the items we're going to be talking about today, none of this is new. It is just being repurposed to a more fashion aesthetic and not just being used for its intended purpose. And to be honest with you, this kind of trail shoe trend with Solomon and a lot of others has been one of my favorite things to come out in the last couple of years. I really like the way they look. That's why I wanted to bring in a special guest for you guys. You may know him from his hot takes on TikTok or just generally being the best sneaker plug out there, making his YouTube debut, Nick, AKA The Hypeless. 
What is good, y'all? My name is Nick, aka Mr. Hypus. I am the founder of the Hypus, and I appreciate my boy Paul, aka Baby Boy Flame, having me on today to talk about Gorp Core. Just a little bit more about my business, the Hypus. If you like sneakers, which I know you do because you're watching Paul. Flame Gang, where you at, baby? You know what I'm saying? And then I know you like discounts as well because who doesn't like saving money? You know what I'm saying? So if you like sneakers, if you like saving money, the Hypeless is for you. The Hypeless is an online platform that conglomerates all the deals. I find daily deals on sneakers, clothing, and more and put them on my website and then I put them on social media so that you guys can see them. Or you can just go to my website and find the deal. That's how Paul found me through TikTok. You know what I'm saying? That's one of my social media outlets. My main outlets is uh, Instagram, TikTok, Hopefully soon I have Twitter going and then hopefully really soon I have YouTube. This is my YouTube debut. Debut, oh! So why do I like Gorpcore? My whole life, I have been cheap. I have been frugal. I have been all of that. But I also like to have the finer things in life. You know what I mean? The utility aspect of fashion is a good mix of both for me. You know what I mean? Like you get durable, lasting sneakers that look good, but that have purpose and functionality. And it's like, I don't wanna just get shoes that are stylish, right? Say I get a really high pair of shoes. I have to worry about where I step in all of that. You know what I'm saying? I can't step here, I can't step there. I can't wear them in the rain. You know what I'm saying? Like that, but with Gore Core, I can wear them everywhere and do everything in them. You know what I mean? So I get the bang for my buck and I look like to look good. You know I'm saying? I like the pockets. I like the cargoes. You know what I mean? I like the fishing hats and I like all of that the best. But it just works for me because I'm a country boy. You know what I'm saying? I start with the sandals and the slides and then I'm gonna get to the the sneakers. You know what I mean? It's, it, it, it's a transition. Cause not everything's a sandal, not everything's a sneaker, man. I got some stuff in between because Gork Port's weird like that. You know what I mean? I'm gonna start y'all off with the Tiva Hurricane XLT2, man. So I just needed a sandal, you know what I mean? And I was like, man, what's the best song I can get for the cheapest price? And this kept popping up. I love Tivas. I needed them from Mexico because I needed a shoe that was gonna be durable. I could get dirty, you know what I mean? And just wash them off. But they also look good, you know? Cause you know, these with socks is a look. They call it like the chocos and socks or whatever. But you know, waffle socks, drop socks. I still wear these daily. Not, not even just for Mexico, but I wear them all the time. You know what I mean? Tivas is it. They durable, they get the job done. Going into a, another clog sandal thing. Oh my gosh, man. If you don't like Crocs, get Mox. Oh my gosh, man. This is the Merrill Hydro Mock. I have been promoting the mug out of these on my platforms, you know what I'm saying? All and over, I've been promoting these for, for a minute. Like, I'm not gonna say I was, I put a lot of people on. I wasn't the first one on the wave, but I was one of the initiators, you know what I mean? Like, I feel like I was, I put a lot of people on. This is the Merrill Hydro Mock, and I put the Bungie Lexus and Carabiners in there just for like the utility look. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is, it's a Hydro Mock. So it works well in water, and you can wear them out of water, and they look good, also with socks, you know what I'm saying? So. Get you a pair, I love them. These are, I don't really know if they like Gorp Court, but I think they are, I think they are because, <laughs> boom, these are so durable. These are the Reebok Beatniks with Cordura fabric. Ooh, can you see that? Cordura fabric, ooh. Water roll off, mud roll off, rocks roll off, whatever, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> these is durable. I mean, I put, I got bleach on them, so they, they can't withstand bleach, but they real durable, like I said. So they look really good. Like I said, it's a bang for you, but I got these for 40% off. Paul got them for 40% off because I put them on, you know what I'm saying? So, I mean, I would get a pair of Beatnik. So I, I love Beatnik so much, I got me two pairs. These are the quilting ones, man. I got these for the winter time. They so clean. My girl was like, what is those? I'm like, relax, baby. Look at these. You know what I'm saying? And I put them on and she was like, ooh. I was like, ooh, you know what I'm saying? Ooh. All right, here's where I feel like it's gonna get a little bit weird because it's not gonna be like a sandal clog thing or whatever, and it's also not a sneaker. It's in between. Ah, look at these. Ooh, the New Balance Neobium Concept 2. This is Dirt Trail. Look at the sole. Oh my gosh, so beautiful. And this is the Snow Peak pair. Oh my gosh. Like I said, these are, again, these are another trail hiking shoe, whatever. Um, they a little bit pricey, but these are probably the most, one of the most comfortable pairs of things. I can't call them shoes. I can't call them sandals. I have ever put on my feet. The Vibram, 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 whatever, like anything that has a Vibram sole is extremely comfortable. Those sell me alone, but I love the design. I love the comfort. I just love them. Staying with the NBs, man, because you already know, like NBs, my favorite brands. They're so, they're just so everything. They're durable. You know what I'm saying? They're stylish. They're comfortable. They're everything. You know what I'm saying? They, New Balance doesn't skip on quality with, with a lot of their stuff, but here goes the, the first version. Ah, the New Balance Neobium Concept one, ooh, and it's like yellow and blue, ah, it's just so sweet. You know what I'm saying? I've worn these to the airport, I've worn these in the forest, I got mud on the bottom of them, but they wash off easily. This is what Gorp Core is about right here. 
This is a three in one shoe. Oh my gosh, this is the boot. This is the mock and this is the slipper. Oh my gosh, and well, this is the boot insert because that's what turns this into this. I highly recommend these, man. I wore these a whole lot in the last year and they still look pretty new, you know what I mean? It's just amazing. And I get compliments on them all the time. These are an amazing piece of footwear I recommend for everybody. This is probably like top, this is probably like top five Gort Core shoes ever made. Who makes a three in one shoe? I don't know, but these is it. I promise you. We're gonna get into our first pair of sneakers. Oh, I already showed them the Salomon XT4 Advanced Silver Metal. Look at these. A beaut. You know, the reason I got these, I've seen a lot of people, a lot of older people, just to be frank, wearing these. And I'm like, man, I'm trying to wear the shoes that old people wear. You know what I'm saying? They weren't wearing specifically these. You know, older people wear, they wear their NBs because that's a joke. Like, NBs a dad shoe. And I see them wear Salomons and Hoka's and on and all this other stuff. And I'm like, I gotta get these shoes because I'm trying to have my feet last. Like, I'm trying to skip around when I'm 90. I'm not trying to be hobbled because I was wearing Jordan 1s and my feet hurt. I got flat feet and long toes, so I need a shoe that's comfortable. And these is it. Oh my gosh, man. And they're just beautiful. They're just beautiful. Again, another very, like, I like the technical aspects of this shoe, the bungee laces, you know what I'm saying? I just love the soles. I just love everything about this shoe. You probably won't even guess the brand of these. It's not New Balance. It's not Nike. It's not Adidas. It's not this. It's not that. It's not, but, but, but. It's Under Armour. Oh my gosh. Whoever would have thought that anybody would want an Under Armour shoe, you know what I'm saying? Other than some Currys. But these right here, oh my gosh, these is heat. These is heat. This is the Under Armour Hover Summit Fat Tire designed by Yuri Mile. This right here is just so far. The sole has a Michelin sole. It's made by a tire company, Michelin. You know a Michelin man, right? And these are so comfortable. My dad's feet hurt so much and he puts these on and he's like, these are like walking on clouds. And I agree. These are probably one of the most comfortable shoes ever made. And like, again, they're made for the trail, the bungee laces. They are supposed to have an ankle attachment. You see the zipper for the trails when you wanna get real frisky in the trails, you know what I'm saying? But this shoe is made to last and I love it. Now we're getting into a little bit of hype. You know, even though my name is Hypeless, I gotta indulge sometimes. Mr. Hypeless, why did you get these? Because boom, oh my gosh, the lady, thank you, Mr. Hiking himself. Boom, oh, that is so nice, I had to get him twice. You know, Salehi Bimber, you know, that's, that's, that's the hiking guy, you know what I'm saying, in the fashion community, you know what I'm saying? Like he, he makes all of the, the fashion, uh, utility, hiking shoes. Um, after he left Versace, he just went totally in that direction. Like he went deep into the, to the hiking stuff. That's what he likes to do. And he's shown it, like look at the sole, the traction, the cross, whatever you want to call it. Like I just love the midsole, the outsole on these shoes. And I just love like everything about them from the laces to the to the lace holds and the, so they bring me into this, man. I love them, you know what I mean? But I appreciate you guys for listening, for tuning in. Uh, let me know what's your favorite sneakers, where that you saw in the comments, you know what I'm saying? I think I might be having a rock with the Niobe Moose just because of how versatile they are, you know what I mean? But some people might be rocking with some other stuff. But I appreciate Paul for having me on, for letting me talk my talk, for talking too much, whatever, about the shoes that I got. Um, I'm coming to YouTube real too. So Paul, plug me again, you know what I mean? But I appreciate you, Flame Gang. I'm out. I swear, he's got one of the best collections. Honestly, my favorite from his collection's gotta be those Salehi Benbury Anthas. Those things are so dope and still on my wish list for sure. Make sure you go and check out the Hypeless. He just started up his YouTube channel. He's got a huge following on TikTok and he posts all his deals on Instagram as well. It's well worth the follow. To wrap things up, I think Gorpcore is a huge W trend. It's a big win. First of all being that all of this gear has high functionality. So investing in a hiking jacket will really be worth your money because you will have something that is absolutely weatherproof. The second thing being is that these are all high quality items. These are not items that perpetuate fast fashion. They're not things that you're gonna throw out in a year. These items are built to last generations. And finally, I just really like the look. I think it looks really cool. It looks kind of high tech whenever you're wearing this hiking fashion. I think it's definitely something that's worth investing into. But that's pretty much it guys. If you enjoyed this video, please hit like and consider subscribing if you're into fashion, sneakers, or streetwear. That's pretty much what we talk about on this channel. Make sure you guys go check out the hype list. He's trying to kick off his career on YouTube and he's killing it on TikTok. But that's pretty much it. I'll see you guys in the next video. Stay fresh out there. Peace.